Hey Orchid loving friends, it's Deb here with an update on Jaja. So I did it. Uh, over the last few days, um, she was just deteriorating quickly. Look at these leaves. So I decided to just cut her flower spike, which you can see still from the first bloom all the way to the last, still looking absolutely gorgeous. And I actually thought I saw her mittens splitting a bit, so I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no more flowering. You need to fix yourself. So this is our Jaja in ICU. Um, so I removed the rotted velamen off of her last couple roots. Um, those roots are nice and green, so pretty sure they're hydrating the plant. Um, the removal of that bottom leaf has now freed this uh, beginning of a root. So I'm glad I removed, I'm glad I removed that leaf. It was already dying back. Um, so I'm glad I did that so that we could um, help her focus on getting some roots going here. Um, this root that kind of just stalled out, um, I don't really know that it's doing anything, but I'm anticipating seeing a little bit of a green tip there, hopefully very soon. Yeah, so there we are. We are in full-blown rescue mode with her. Not full-blown because she's definitely a little on the dehydrated side. So the removal of the flowers, um, the removal of that leaf to allow for this root to get going, um, possibly even that one. You never know. Um, I think will be very, very helpful. So I've seen other YouTubers when um, faced with a situation where they need to get their plant hydrated, um, they put it in water like this. They just kind of folded up the leaves and stuck it in a bucket of water. The crown wasn't in the water. Um, from what I could see, there was water wasn't getting in there, but it was just the leaves themselves kind of upside down like this in some water. And, you know, they showed putting it in and then they showed afterwards it just sitting there. Um, and the leaves had perked up a little bit. Um, I don't know that I will try that. I will just... What I've done is I have increased the water level. I've done a couple of things. I've increased, increased the water level. We've got the stem of the plant in the water a little bit. Um, I will probably increase it a little bit to get that guy in there, but I still need to make sure that we're getting some oxygen. So I don't want to go like too, too crazy. So I'm just going to start with keeping the water level high enough so that the tip is in there. And um, I've removed her from underneath the bright light or brighter light, artificial light. And I just have her sitting over here um, and just getting some natural light on her from my window. So we'll see if she is a little happier 
um, with a little less light. Her edges were getting that purplish tinge, signifying she's at the end of her allowance. But the leaves themselves didn't get any purple coloring. But this could be uh, both a little dehydration and possibly she just didn't like the amount of light she was getting. So we'll see if she likes it over here. And um, I'm just going to baby the baby. If you have any suggestions, anything that you've done that was helpful in uh, nursing a pretty much rootless fowl back to health, let me know. Um, I would appreciate any insight and advice. So thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. Talk soon.